you guys got going on? The Traveling Road Show? Uh, yeah. Mind your business. So, my question is, are we doing anything? You want me to mind my business? Yeah, you're harassing us. It's a, it's legally what a tyrant. Right. You are a pig. You are the definition of a pig. Go ahead. Mind your own. How about, dude? Get the heck out of there. Mind your own. Oh, you know how much of a piece of crap you're being right now. <laughs> you just said you'll tow it all. You're so full of crap. Honestly, you're the one being nasty. We're just over here trying to figure out what you guys are doing. Dude, it is pretty. In the way you came up and said we can't be here doing this. You you had you had propane. It was on when I pulled up. No, it was up. not. You're a liar. Then now you are a liar. Okay, so that wasn't on. I, I, have, I have the right to be nasty if he's going to sit here and lie. Uh -huh. You know, you're trying to twist this and make it look like anything wrong is going on here. Well, it was on. We well, can't have somebody out here with with a, a burning property, sir. Not a lot of burn anything That's on this. That's why you're getting a complaint. Yeah. You might end up on the Brady list, buddy. I hope so, so you lose your qualified immunity. Okay. Yeah, you can't do whatever you want, man. Where you guys from? I don't have to tell you where I'm from. Yeah, I'm just I'm trying to have a conversation with you. Boys in blue, am I being detained? Cops walk up to Minetta Park and begin throwing accusations and threats. Welcome back to San Joaquin Valley Transparency. I've shared this guy's work before, and he's fantastic. The way he talks to cops is absolutely priceless. Cops always seem to have an authoritative demeanor. They believe that people should just comply to every order given by them. But a free people will never lie down to a dictatorship, nor should they. Chardon Times is an awesome channel that demonstrates how the people have more power than they realized. Cops have unlawfully arrested this man before. He's fought and won. He's risked his freedom for all of you, so please make sure you go to his channel and show him some support. I'll drop his link for you in the description and pinned comment. At the end of the video, we're gonna give you a proper explanation on some of your natural rights, so don't go anywhere. Watch the full video to truly appreciate the powerful message. Let's get right to it, folks. All right, what are we doing, fellas? Uh, just finish your meal. How about you? Uh, looks All like right. you're setting up camp. Oh, we're not camping. Oh, sure. Oh. You guys just eating lunch? Yeah, pretty much, man. Oh, okay. Gonna be here long. Yeah, you can't have all this stuff in the circle, my man. What do you mean? Like, well, you're cooking in the middle of the circle. We're not cooking currently. That's cooking right there. It's not on. It's just pulling the. Pan Listen, up. man. You can sit here and argue all day. I mean, we can't have everybody out in the circle cooking. I'm Ooh. just asking you. Yeah, what what are we not allowed to have? You know, and I'll just I'm just telling you. What, the, we can't have the pan out? Yeah, you can't have a, a burning unit out here. It's not burning. That's what I'm telling you. Well, you sure looked like it was on when I walked up. That's a lie, sir. That's an awful unit. I'm not a liar. Immediately, this cop accuses them of setting up the camp. The man tells them he's not camping. Cops always try to use wordplay in order to charge you and secure a conviction. That's why it's best to not say anything unless you know your shit like this dude. You're having lunch, you're cooking, more questions. This cop really thinks a confession is going to fall right out of this guy's mouth. After the questions comes the lies. Because as you know, via Supreme Court, cops are allowed to lie during investigations. It's like a card trick they learned in order to win every time. Wow. <clears throat> What you guys got going on? The traveling road show? Uh, yeah. Mind your business. So, my question is, are we doing anything? You want me to mind my business? Yeah, you're harassing us. For real. No, we're not here to see if that's going on, man. Real, not, I mean, that's pretty rude. Honestly. Not having anybody. No, you're being rude. I mean, we're just coming over here to talk, and you're just... Oh, oh okay. What's your name, sir? Jim. Okay. Yeah. I'm oh, Mitch. What's and, your uh, name? Your name badge numbers? Which, that doesn't mean anything. You can no, read it. If I want to file a complaint against okay, you. Okay, go ahead and file all the complaints you want. Yeah, and they add Figure up. it out. What are you guys doing? What do you mean, what are we doing? Yeah. We're enjoying our day. You're being a little, I mean, you I asked the officer, are we doing service? anything? Yeah. yeah, we did. You got an ID on you? You're not getting I'm ID. Get the answer, no? Number. Yeah, because, we, I mean, if you can articulate a crime that you suspect me of committing. Did you go to police academy, dude? Dude, I know my civil rights, man. Okay, good. We're not, we're, there, not, we're not talking about civil America. rights. We're talking about ordinances. Yeah, yeah, we are, sir. Ordinances in our city. Yeah, well, if they're unconstitutional, then... They're not. They're ordinances the ordinance? that we have in this city. You what can't, is the ordinance? You can't just come out here and cook food in the middle of the circle. We aren't cooking right now. It's a city so property. I mentioned to you that the thing is not on. Why are you shaking so bad? Huh? Uh, yeah. So, police have violated people's rights before. You well, know, you're violating your rights. We're out here talking to you, man. Uh, the way he came up, like said, free for you to be here. It's you, he just said you can't be out here huh? doing this. And I mean, you're doing anything. Looks like you're, you're you're cooking a bunch of food. You have a propane burning fuel unit in the middle of our city. I told you the propane has not been on for several minutes. Uh huh. You know, 
you're trying to twist this and make it look like anything wrong is going on here. Well, it was on. We well, can't have somebody out here with with a, a burning a property, sir. Not a lot of burn anything That's on this. That's why you're getting a complaint. Yeah. You might end up on the Brady list, buddy. I hope so, so you lose your qualified immunity. Okay. Yeah, you can't do whatever you want, man. Where you guys from? I don't have to tell you where I'm from. Yeah, I'm just, I'm trying to have a conversation with you. Boys in blue, am I being detained? Huh? Am I free I, to go? I, I, am I detained? Yes or you? no, sir? Yeah, you're free to go. All right. That's it. Bye-bye. Are you going? I'm free to stay, too, right? I'm done talking to you, so from now on, it's not consensual. They're harassing me. I'm not over here having a conversation. Sir, please back away from me. I don't, I'm not inside Sir, of your business. Sir, you're near my property, within 10 feet of my property. Okay. Please We're leave me alone. Property, just like no you way. are. So here we are. Coming up to me. No way, here. dude. Trying to figure out what's going Fifth on. Fifth Amendment. I don't have to tell you anything. Get, Nothing. Get out of here. You doing anything illegal here? Are you doing anything illegal? No, I'm you're, doing my job. Dude, your job is not to come harass people, man. I'm, not I'm a citizen. You. Okay. All right. So am I. <laughs> Every right you have, I have. You're getting a complaint. Okay, I hope so. What is it, Orzine? And you might be going YouTube too, buddy. Oh, I... Now everybody knows that if you're just sitting here in Talmadge, they're going to come up to you. You know, oh, that's pretty just this uh, is not, poopy, this is... buddy. Look. Okay. You're full of poop. Look, you're going on YouTube. People you all across the country every... will now know that you guys you are tyrants. You think this happens every day? Somebody pulls up and sets up camp? Oh, people can't eat food? You're a tyrant, dude. Huh? You're a tyrant. A tyrant? A tyrant, a tyrant? A tyrant. yeah. Get yes. out of my face, tyrant going on YouTube. Okay. And you're getting a complaint. Alright. You're rude. I'm not being rude. I'm, I'm, a, a, I'm a passer. I, I'm a visitor in your city. Okay. This is despicable. Get out of here. Okay. I'm sorry. For yeah. That. I'm paying your tax dollars to, for you to you do this. Not, probably not. Well, I am. I'm a, I pay my Ohio State taxes, buddy. You're probably not paying my salary. That's crazy, dude. Get out of here, you clown. What's your name? Huh? You want to go on YouTube? Alright. Don't All right. ride these on the road. What? You can't ride these on the road. <laughs> Why? An electric bicycle? A motor vehicle? Yeah, what's the problem? So, electric motor on the roadway? It's not registered? You don't have any plates on them? Plates? You got lights? Just, you want to try it, dude? Go ahead, ride it down the road. I'll tell it all. Alright. Alright. Yeah, you're on YouTube, buddy. Ohio State Lodge. Yeah, dude, I know the Ohio State laws plus? pretty well. Not on the roadway. You have lights? This is it. That's a bicycle. You have to have turn signals. You have to have mirrors. You have to have a horn. You have to have everything else, according to the BMV, buddy. It's a it's legally a bicycle. You are a pig. You are the definition of a pig. Go ahead. Mind your own. How about, dude? Get the heck out of there. Mind your own. Oh, you know how much of a piece of crap you're being right now. He just said he'll tow it all. You're so full of crap. Honestly, you're the one being nasty. We're just over here trying to figure out what you guys Dude, are it is all. pretty. And the way you came up and said we can't be here doing this. You you had you had propane. It was on when I pulled up. No, it was up. not. You're a liar. Then now you are a liar. Okay, so that wasn't on. I, I, I have the right to be nasty if he's going to sit here and lie. Oh. It's called the First Amendment, dude. I can call you whatever name oh, I want to okay. call you. All right. All right. Okay. So you guys are trying to violate my rights. We're not violating anything. Well, he seems like you know. He just said he tow all my stuff. That'd be a violation yeah. of my Fourth Amendment. Yeah, if you ride that on the road. Licensed. What? Not if it's not this is a bicycle. Licensed. I have no the right lights. to travel. There's lights on there. I have the right to travel. I have bicycle lights. Well, you see the that. light right the there, right? So you're bringing up irrelevant lies. Right. I have the right to travel. You guys can't take nothing of mine. That's called the Fourth Amendment. We have the right to be. Well, it seems like they know it all, Sarge. So I think we're clear. Yeah, pretty much. When the man asks the cops for their names and badge numbers, they break policy and refuse. When the officer that's wearing the body cam says, I guess they know it all, Sarge, so I think we're clear. I couldn't help but realize how daunting those words are. So in other words, if the people know their rights, the cops have no choice but to leave them alone. But if the people don't know what the rights are, they can continue to harass and intimidate the people. And that's why our channels are important. Subscribe now to make sure you know how to handle yourself in the face of this evil and corrupt madness. I think they know. Yeah, you guys are going on YouTube. Okay. Unprofessional Here comes cool. Mr. Steve Kelly. What's up, bud? There you are. Look at him. He's, you, you know, Good. Pretty just well, know you. You're coming up here flicking your stuff, man. You don't scare nobody. Great. I'm just checking this out see what's going on. You guys working together or? Who? You and these guys. I don't know who they are. I oh, just okay. saw 
all this police activity. Good. Well, you guys got a hot spot here in Talmadge. This is where our tax get paid dollars go towards. Four men just standing out here. Post office. Twice. Yes. Yeah, if anybody's feeling me, making me feel uncomfortable or unsafe, it's this is the hot spot, man, right in the middle of the circle. Let's call it a public property. This is uh, the United States. U.S. Code, Section 42, 1983. If you want to violate my constitutional rights, then you can be held accountable at the federal court. That's up to you, dude. It's like the law. You guys should know the law. Huh. You know? See who you were. Dude, see this guy, man. It's not representing your department very well. You can call me out whatever you want, man. Property, middle, right? Middle of our city. He's gonna tow all my property, right? Happened like just before. That's pretty He's crazy, man. Come over here and see what's going on. This is what we do. Yeah, but you know, so Webs you're tow all my property, and you guys can't be here doing this. Do you have insurance on these vehicles, Webs? When you get hit by a car, or you hit somebody. You ever think about that stuff long term? Dude, you're not towing my property. You're a crazy. Get okay. out of here, man. <laughs> Talking about towing my property. Well, it seems Whoa. like you know everything here, and you know how the court I know works. The Fourth Amendment. So. Yeah, I have the right to be secure in my persons, papers. No and issues. Effects. You violate our city ordinances. We can go to court, and you can get a lawyer to represent yourself. You're saying bringing up these hypotheticals. I have the right to be secure in my persons, yeah. papers, and effects, sir. Okay. Good day to you. Enjoy. All right, Sarge. Sounds like they know it. Yeah, yeah man. I mean, making some chow. Have a good day, you know. My meal about wearing, you know, someone's gonna come steal my property. I'm just upset that you're so nasty with me. How condescending can cops be? Let's give a detailed analysis of what's happening. The cops come and accuse him of several things and threaten to tow his property. But when he confronts the cops about lying, they say he's being nasty with them. All the while, there's four or five cops standing around, seeing if they could possibly charge him with something. Eventually, they'll all do the walk of shame, and the people will win this encounter via this gentleman here. Dude. For us. Yeah, it's not the first time, you know, I've been threatened by you people. We weren't threatened at all. That's why you've been held the, accountable in court before. We made no threats. Okay. We came over Except to the You're going to tow my bike, right? When I ride it, right? Huh? You're going to tow my bike when I ride it, right? Possibly, yeah. Possibly, yeah. That's no threat. It's not a threat. That's, it's yeah, not a threat. I'm letting no you know it's not It's not in code for riding down the road. You don't know if I have insurance or, or a multi license or anything. Well, we're on a circle, so you didn't just start from here. Land here? Off this guy? There's a bike trail right there, dude. Oh, okay. Okay. What's wrong with you people? Well, you can walk these to the bike trail and ride them on down the bike trail. Maybe I will, dude. It's probably a good idea. I'm giving you some good advice. Dude, you were harassing me. I was enjoying my day until you came by. That's what it is, man. Where are you guys traveling from? Let's not have to answer any of your questions. Interested in your story, dude, man, that's all. Dude, you guys messed up, man. And it's going to be documented on YouTube. Oh. Okay. By, by threatening to tow my property and by coming up and saying you guys can't be here doing this, when I know that I do this in cities, uh, okay. and count on my Where hands. Where are you coming so. from? I told you I don't have to answer your questions. This isn't an interrogation. It's still, I I'm don't have to answer any of your questions. I don't have to tell you that. Property? I would have told you that if you guys came up cordially with me. Okay. You know? This is it's, public property, right? City property. City, it's own, it's owned by the city, which is that. City is public. it's public property, sir. And they're allowed, they're it's not, not private. The laws, uh, <laughs> to, it's not private for the city property. So it's public. Public. Okay, well, well we've established, here. we've definitely established that yeah, as yeah. public property, and then we can eat our food here. Being broken. We're just yeah, over here trying no to... laws being broken, and there's four men standing here on the clock. What's going on over here? That's yeah. it. You're on the clock. Like and you, I told them that we're not doing anything wrong. But you guys are still here. It's because of your egos, man. That's the only thing yeah, holding you here now. It's definitely turning that around. It's not because of our egos. It's because yeah, we've got it is, a dispatch sir. call here. No, otherwise you'd be on your way already. Somebody set up camp in the middle of the city. How many times do you think we got this call? This is not a camp. This is a, our bicycles, dude. Yeah. What, weapons of mass destruction? I mean, they're bicycles, dude. What are you, what are you tripping on, man? Like, I'm not tripping on anything. I, you want to sit? Look at this guy. You got a little cute blue. Yeah, you want to check out the back seat? Why? You think you're going to put me in there? <laughs> Go on, sit in there. Turn the siren on. At least your cat's not on. Go on, have a seat. Ah. Check it out. Community policing, man. 
You want to be a part of the community? I am part of the community. You ever been in one? The back seat. Why? The near business. Well, come on. You can sit in the front seat now. Yeah. Have a seat. Look at that. Go ahead. You got two two long guns, or is that three? Three. Yeah. Nice. You see the uh, little uh, the baboon. The, you know what that's from? Monkey's ass. No, no, no. That's <laughs> Rafiki, man. What? It's the Lion King. I don't watch TV or movies or. Really? Me, nah. What do you like to do? They know me. You wanna go for a ride along? A ride along? Yeah. I wouldn't mind. Can I record while I do it? You'd have to go talk to our chief and go through a background check and come out with us. But if you've been in the back seat, I don't know. Well, I I pled dis, uh, I pled guilty to a disorderly conduct. You pled what? Guilty oh, to okay. a disorderly conduct to take a plea. I shouldn't have. Well, I don't I don't know. I don't know about that, but Well, the video's online. We do offer ride-alongs for our community and our citizens so they know what we're doing out here. Yeah, no, I'd love to because I actually <clears throat> took the test for Talmadge Police Department and Akron Police Department and for Summit County Jail. Right. Yeah. Right. I, was, I was in the military. I believe in our rights. You know? Good. I wanted to be a teacher, you know, so why not get out and teach people about their rights by filming in public? Oh, we try to teach. We try to we try to teach, learn, do it all, you know. But we got some some people who know it all already, and they want to tell us how to do our jobs, you know. I know most of it. Well, it's pretty easy, right? It's all yeah, in a book. I mean, when you got a public place <laughs> and you're not really breaking a law, they're just hanging out and cooking something. Well, we have a lot of city ordinances in this town that that, to that make it have you know a barbecue. make a difference. Yeah, I mean, you know, if you're gonna have a flame, you, you, know, you have to have a controlled environment. I mean. There's a lot to it. I mean, that's kind of controlled. It's just a little propane. Well, here's, here's the deal. Thing. Yeah, but, like you know, like this is... Sticks and branches, though. This I, is a historical, historical property. If you started a fire out here or right. that ignited, but they, but we can't to, rebuild these buildings. You're getting to an if, and you know? hasn't happened. I know. And I'm just trying to educate, want, but I'll, they already you seem want, educated, yeah, you know? If you want, I'll hang out and watch them. I don't... You can hang out whatever you want to do, I man. <laughs> Free world. <laughs> to a beautiful place to hang out, really. Oh, That's a mess here. of food they cook in town. I love it here. There's cars that miss the yeah. bird. Matter of fact, I once drove around this circle about 11 times in a row. I was a teenager. I, yeah, I've done it like 40 times in my cruiser. <laughs> I got to set a record. <laughs> we have people go around in uh, the wrong way all the time. They don't understand it. They go the wrong way. Yeah. Oh, my God. Or they'll go right through it. The only thing that hasn't been hit yet, thank God, is that church. Yeah. Isn't it a beaut? It is. It really is. How old? Yeah. Right there. Right 1822. There. 18, that's uh. Before the Civil War, my man. That's a long time ago. Yeah. 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 I've been in the post office over here. Have you been in that building? No. You never been in the church? That's the church too. No, that used to be the old police department. Oh, really? Way back in the day. Okay. Somebody drove through here, uh, OVI, impaired, and went right through the Veterans Memorial and destroyed all of it. We just had it all rebuilt. It does look new. I've, yeah. You know, I never really noticed it here, and that's something I like to go to in all the towns. I didn't know. Yeah, they got dog tags of all our fallen veterans on there, so oh, it's cool. pretty cool they uh, put I this will. out for us. I'll get over there and check it out. I think we're going to be getting some new stuff in here, too. So, uh, I think they're gonna, there's talks about an eternal flame, and were you here during, uh, 9-11? We, uh, we put I the candles out for all the, uh, citizens that, you know, all, all the people that died that day, and there's, uh, officers and firemen, every candle's represented for every, every person who lost their life that day. Oh, it, it's Kent a big State deal. Well, yeah, oh, you went to Kent State? What'd yeah. they have up there? Um, I don't remember anything. I just remember, I was in, uh, my, um... Sociology class. Oh, and um, the, the professor comes up and says, gotcha. um, we're can classes are canceled, a plane just hit the World Trade Center. And oh, I'm in the sociology class thinking, is he trying to mess with our heads, see how a group of 300 students react yeah. to that news? Or is this fucking real? Right. Yeah, it was real. It was crazy. I'm walking home. Bad day, across man. campus and not a single plane in the sky, and it was so weird. What well, makes you feel any, any uh, younger? I was in fourth grade, 
<laughs> when that happened. So. Oh, I was in my 30s. Imagine being a fourth grader trying to understand that. So you I'm know? 55. I, I don't look yeah. as old as I am. Yeah. I'm probably about Sergeant's age. I don't know. Yeah. Well, you're still young. I'm hoping the one guy that told me uh, just because you have the right doesn't make it right would be here. Oh, One of your I don't officers, because I was recording at the post office. And people get upset when you're recording. Well, I'm not doing anything. This is your first amendment protected activity. If you're on public property, right, and you're not putting it in people's faces and threatening them, mm -hmm. you're doing nothing wrong. And I do this, literally this. Yeah, people are protective of their property in this country. That is for sure. That's something that's uh, pretty much a standard. This uh, this little circle in here is definitely one of those places that's protected. So this one here, that helmet looks familiar. It really does look familiar. We have the pride thing going on in Akron right now. No. Oh, uh, I'd be there filming it. <laughs> but we had it a couple weeks ago, and Antifa was there uh, with a recruiting booth. booth. Really? How do they afford a recruiting booth if they're a fictitious organization? I wonder where the money goes, huh? George Soros. Democrats. <laughs> so you, uh, you have a live news channel or anything? Have you, you, work, you get to work for anybody fun throughout your career? Um, what? Like for when you do your your recordings? Oh no, I it's, I mean I could go live. Yeah, you just record for yourself. You don't work. You don't get to work for anybody, or no. you've never had any offers. I have. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I've been offered to no. go to uh, the busiest time of day. Indiana, I think it is, or Illinois. I can't remember which one. I just got the email the other day. Somebody well, wants me to go down there and do good. some undercover investigative journalism. Be a good idea, man. There's this one guy on YouTube. He goes around to these, uh, you know, these towns that are like struck by poverty, or he goes to like Jersey and the high, or Detroit. He goes walks all the dangerous areas throughout the country and films it, oh. and he makes very, he does very well. He he talks to so many people, yeah, and uh, you know he usually ends up reversing everybody's thoughts of the entire city and how terrible it is, but. That's interesting. You gotta check him out. I don't. I can't remember his name, but uh, this has they'll probably come through Talmadge one day. These people have a lot of real estate, and um, there's a gas station down the street from them, mm -hmm. selling drugs. And then one of the, the a uh, mobile home trailer park that they own. The person lives there that's working there, so the drugs are running there, and they're running at the gas station. Yeah, they're, and they they just kind of want somebody that. Laws and can go and record, and I've got hidden cameras and stuff. I, It'd be interesting. I'm, I'm actually. They want you to kind of handle the situation. Is yeah. that what they want? Yeah. Yeah. They put me up. They'll put me up in one of the rental, rental properties. Feed me. Probably a good idea. Probably. Uh, I'll, I'm sure I'll get views out. Of if it. you got all that documentation, and then got hold of the local authorities out there and said, "Hey, this is what I found." Yeah, they you have know, a town marshal. They'd almost have to go out and do, you know, they'd have to go do something yeah. about it. So. The town marshal works from, like, 9 to 4. Jeez. He doesn't have any deputies. Yeah. <laughs> what are they cooking? It's, it's, weird. it looks almost like popcorn. I don't, I don't know. I don't think it is. I was, I was carrying earlier, but I locked my gun up in my car because I didn't know I'd be here. Will you guys freak out? Uh, who knows? As long as you ain't getting it out and waving it around at me, that's... I think you'll be on the good side, you know what I mean? It goes right here. <laughs> yeah. This is my gun hand and it's my camera hand. <laughs> here you go. Let me this. <laughs> <laughs> camera and the gun? Put the camera on the gun. No, don't do that. Yeah, well, you got to put the gun in front of the camera. So that way... <laughs> no, that'd be bad. <laughs> oh. I, I don't just recorded do that. myself committing a crime or defending myself. Well, there you go. That's the, the thing, and I would only use it in defense. Yeah, you never know. Never know these days. People are crazy. So you grew up here in this town? I lived here for a few years in Talmadge. Yeah, yeah I went to Talmadge High School for a year. Good. Yeah. 
I, yeah, it's quite I, a little town. I moved around a lot. I lived in Florida. I lived in Ohio. I lived in uh, I didn't make them. South Carolina. <laughs> in Texas. I moved around a lot too. I used to live here as well. It's a good town. Good place to live. Yeah. It, you know, class. The, the high school is. I wasn't. I forget which way. It's uh, it's it's right down uh, northeast. Well, yeah. that, and then it, and then you go down North Monroe. Yeah. It's right in there, yeah. They, they've invited me to their um, class reunion, but so is the school in Florida that I did, went to, to for a year. So I went to four high schools in four years. Oh, jeez. Yeah. I go to the Florida one. That sounds better. <laughs> Not really. Not really. Being the new kid at every school means the bully comes at you to test you. Oh, Did you get hit with? Hit with? Yeah, just bee going up my nose, oh. flying around my face. Yeah, I'm looking to get better equipment. Get me a 360 camera, body camera. Start wearing a bulletproof vest. And you get that little gimbal that self levels. I have a gimbal. Um, yeah. It just the battery power on it goes in like 20 minutes. So I have to have multiple battery packs on it and, and have a monopod so I can rest it on the ground. This is so light. How about a GoPro? Um, I have a sports camera. That's what I'm going to use as a body camera. I have a GoPro Hero 10. But I see the, um, I don't know if you've heard of Amagansett Press, watching the Watchmen. They're like, they've got... They have body cams? They, they, they use GoPros on tiny little uh, tripods. I mean, it's a little tiny thing. It's, it's weird to me. Yeah. I, I, I like the phone. It's, you know, it, um, I mean, Battery probably lasts a long time on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good, good, good. Well, you were very nice and pleasant to talk to. These gentlemen, not, not so much. They pretty much... <laughs> very, well, very argumentative from the beginning. <laughs> understandable. I mean, you're not coming up to me. Well, I would have came up to you, too, but uh, would have talked well, to you. Well, I wouldn't be sitting in the middle of... Um, yeah. I have no desire to do I don't know if they're doing anything wrong or not. I just... Listen, man, we just try to educate people on our city ordinances. Every city has different ordinances. We have a lot, you know, so you're all the other surrounding. So you have a, a trailer behind your bicycle if you're traveling? So. Because that would be just like if you have. We have a bike trail in Talmadge. They can go on there. Yeah, they yeah they can but do that. You can ride the bicycle on the Not street. around the circle or on the road or anything like that, no. You not can't a, ride on Nothing like that, no. You have to by law. If they get hit, which is very possible on the Talmadge circle. Then they would, you know, they'd have to have insurance, they'd have to have a valid driver's license, they'd have to have it registered in a plate, exactly. all that stuff. I don't see any of that on those vehicles. You can't register that. That's the bike. It's, he has. It's, that's a baby riding cart behind Right, it. so he'd have to have signals, mirrors, lights, brake lights, uh, license plate light. You'd have to have, if you wanted to register all that stuff and go on the roadway. I'm, 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 no. I really don't think that's right. Yeah, if, well, if you wanted to register it as a vehicle. But, but it's a bicycle that has, has a baby carriage on the back that he filled with stuff. It's a, it's, it's something everybody... Now, you can ride, you can, can ride, you can ride that, you can ride that on our bike trail here. And those ordinances are subject to change. You should be allowed they have to, been going through. If you don't have a car, you should be allowed to ride your bicycle down here, you know, mm -hmm. down northeast or north or whatever. You should be allowed to ride on those streets. Yes. Because you're supposed to ride in the street with traffic, not on the sidewalk. That's a pedestrian throwaway. You know, but... Now, the, they... As far as a bicycle, yes. But our ordinances are changing on that, too, so... And bicycles? Why? On bicycles, motorized uh, scooters, oh my God. motorized... Oh, uh, what's going on? Uh, golf carts and those side-by-side -side razors. Yeah. Um, those are all in the works right now through our uh, through our ordinance. Oh, you said put us on YouTube. I'll, I'll put you on YouTube. I know he will. Yeah, Sarge. We've been there before. Sarge, you're still on YouTube. Again. Yeah. And I tell you, you got thousands of views. Oh really? Yeah. I ain't been to it in a long time. Uh, well, right, well, since when was that? Last year, last summer or something? Last summer. Yeah. yeah. 
Yep. All right, all right. We're out of here. You guys stay well, man. Good luck, guys. Yeah, thank you. All right. Yep. Nice meeting you. You too. And I'll check in with the chief and see about uh, doing a ride along sometime. Yeah. You know? Come to our uh, touching truck. We do that. Where we bring all our uh, vehicles out from the surrounding areas, and uh, all the kids come out, and it's pretty cool. All the SWAT trucks are there. You say I'm filming kids. No, you can film whatever you want there. Completely illegal. <laughs> <laughs> all right, man. Be safe. We live in the butt hurt nation. Right. You have a good one. All right, folks. I definitely want to hear your thoughts about this video. I like the way this guy handles himself. I've seen several of his videos before, and they are outstanding. Definitely make sure you guys subscribe to Shard and Time's YouTube channel. How important is it for you guys to know your rights? It could be the difference between you walking yourself to jail, not with your legs, but with your lips, or you making cops do the walk of shame. Which one would you rather have? Folks that subscribe to my channel have left me comments before saying that when they got pulled over or they got harassed by the cops, they knew exactly what to say and what to do in order to keep themselves out of trouble. You know why cops get so much love and support from the bootlickers? Because sometimes they do a good job. Yes, folks, bad cops sometimes do good, but that doesn't mean we have to ignore the bad. They already get a paycheck for when they do their job correctly. When someone is out there committing crimes, creating victims, that's what we need police for. You can't watch one episode of Cold Case Files where you won't hear a family member or a friend saying that cops screwed up the investigation. Hundreds and thousands of unsolved cases out there and you have four or five cops standing around bothering people at a park. And we wonder why this country has gone to shit. We're over here pointing the finger at each other. Red versus blue, left versus right, man versus woman, gay versus straight. The truth is, folks, I found something that we can all agree on, and that's knowing your rights. You will not begin to respect the rights of other people until you understand what your own rights are. There's a lot of confusion going on out there, and the only ones that are capitalizing on all of this is the government. Government protects government. It continues to grow into a giant monster that just tramples all over the people's rights. If this guy didn't know his rights, he definitely would have walked himself to jail, like I said, with his mouth and not his feet. And that's what cops want. That's why they scoff at you when you tell them you have rights or you know the Constitution. That's why they call you names like Sovereign Citizen. Cops believe that everybody should just comply to every demand. And for some reason, they believe that they are the law. They are not the law. They are supposed to be law enforcement. Many times we see cops arrive on scene acting like the feelings enforcement. It's a crying shame, folks. They make it difficult to acquire body cam footage. They have multi-agency conspiracy to cover up wrongdoings. How many times have you heard this one, folks? We investigated ourselves and found no wrongdoing. That's like my neighbor coming to my house, knocking on the door and said, Hey, your son punched my son. And I said, Hang on a minute. I'm going to go conduct an internal investigation. And then I come back and tell the man, We found no wrongdoing. My son felt threatened, so he needed to take action. Of course, I'm going to be biased. We definitely need some kind of civilian oversight over the police departments, one that's not corrupt. It's time that you guys pick up a camera, start asking questions, start going to city council meetings, demand accountability and transparency, and let's start voting those losers out of those seats and let's start filling them up ourselves. People that actually believe in the Constitution and the people's natural rights. How powerful is that statement, folks? I know, I know, I know. If you're a government official and you're listening to my video right now, it's a giant bitch slap to your face. But I want to make it bigger than that. I want it to be a God slap. Always record the police, folks. If you don't know your rights, you don't have any rights, subscribe and hit the bell. Go subscribe to Chardon Times as well. I love seeing this community grow. There's nothing better than seeing a country fix itself from within because the people have had enough of bad government. Bless your heroic hearts. If you have videos that you want us to highlight, copy your links and send them to recordpolicenow at gmail.com. We will help your channels grow. Let's get you a thousand subs and let's get you monetized because you might need it. This is San Joaquin Valley Transparency. We're helping to build a community from sea to shining sea across the pond with our friends in the UK. We got people in Canada, Australia, and other parts of the world who are picking up cameras, recording, government officials, asking questions, demanding answers. I couldn't have asked for a better life, folks. We will see you guys on the next video. Hit that thumbs up, subscribe, share this with friends and family. Have a blessed day.